Automatic Door Installation Manual. The installation of automatic doors is closely linked to the safety of our customers and the lifespan of the doors. Therefore, the engineer must closely examine the surroundings and the work conditions and measure the area to design the optimal conditions of normal door operations before starting the installation work. Frame Installation The frame is like the bone structure of an automatic door. Therefore, it is important to build a solid frame in an accurate size. Check the horizontal and vertical position to less than 2 mm margin of error and build the frame. Then, fix the placed frames to the wall by using welding and silicone. Rail Installation Fix the rail in a solid position by placing it close to the reinforced part of the system box. To do so, it is important to maintain an accurate horizontal position. The distance from the bottom of the system box to the bottom of the rail should be 30 to 35 millimeters unless set otherwise. After installing the rail, wipe the track area where the hanger roller passes by using a dry cloth to prevent noise generation. With the aluminum cover type ST20, you do not need to follow the above steps. You can simply fix the aluminum operator box to the wall on both sides of the frame. Components. Components used for the installation of an automatic door include rail, motor, controller, pulley, hanger roller, timing belt, belt connector, on-off switch, stopper, guide roller, upper sensor, and safety sensor. Assembly. Fix the motor tightly to the right side of the rail with the T-shaped box. Fix the pulley tightly to the left side of the rail using the same method. It is important to fix the motor and the pulley tightly since they are the parts which play the key role in moving the door on each side of the belt. Fix the controller to the left side of the motor using the cross-tip screwdriver. While doing so, you should ground yourself. If you skip the grounding step, the automatic door may malfunction. Connection with belt. Hang the belt on the motor on one end and the pulley at the other end and pull it out using both hands. Select the area which is one interval shorter than the contact area of the two sides of the belt and make a cut. Insert both ends of the belt into the single belt connector. Make sure to get through three claws each. Mount the pulley and the motor on the belt again. Adjust the tension of the belt with the pulley. Loosen the bolts inside the pulley and adjust the tension using the belt adjusting nut placed on the left side of the pulley. Turn the nut clockwise when the belt is too loose and counterclockwise when the belt is too tight. After the adjustment, tighten the bolts. Door installation. Fix the hanger roller into the 60 to 100 millimeter position from both ends of the door.
place the door on the rail. Connect the belt connector to the left side hanger roller. In case of double door, join the double belt connector to the right side hanger roller on the left side of the door and then connect it to the upper belt. During this operation, make sure that the door remains closed. After the installation of the door, check the balance and adjust the balance of the door using the hanger roller if the door is not perfectly balanced. First, loosen the nut used for height adjustment and balance it using the height adjustment bolt. Check the balance and tighten the height adjustment nut. Finally, tighten the derail prevention device. Connection. Fix the stopper on the rail based on the width of the door opening. Connect the jack of the on-off switch to the controller. Also, connect the jack of the motor to the controller. Upper sensor connection. When the sensor is installed inside, use terminal blocks 7, 8, and 9. When installed outside, use terminal blocks 10, 11, and 12. First, connect the two power source strands to number 7 and 8, and then the two signal strands to number 8 and 9. Safety Sensor Connection When using ST World's safety sensor, you do not have to use a separate safety sensor board. Just use terminal blocks 3, 4, 5, and 6. Of the receiver comprising of three strands, connect the red strand to three, white to four, and shield strand to six. Of the transmitter comprised of two strands, connect the white strand to five, and the shield strand to six. After the connection, make the holes both ends of the frame using 12 PHY. Connect the strands and insert two eyes receiver and transmitter. Cable. Neatly arrange the cables by using the cable clip provided with the product. Power connection and test run. Turn on the power switch after all the preparations are completed. Initially, the door open and close slowly to set the distance. This has been the installation process of an automatic door. For further information on the functions and setup of automatic doors, please refer to the installation manual. Correctly installing an automatic door is crucial to the safety of passengers and the lifespan of the door. Please make sure that you install the door correctly so that the door can be used safely and for longer.